It is just, uh, it's deeply troubling, the suffering that these people have gone through. I just want to do as much as I can to help every life that we can. I can't even imagine what it's like to have your house destroyed, uh, to lose your family members. These are all innocent people. They are in no way partaking in the fighting. They don't agree with it. They are just victims of an unjust war. So for me, it's just here to, to help as many lives as we can and just to share the love of Jesus Christ with them, to let them know that there's hope of a better tomorrow and there's a God who cares for them. Right now, we are sitting here on the humanitarian hub in Minkaman, Hawero County, Lake State. There are nearly 100,000 people um, displaced from their homes in Jongale who are currently living here in Minkaman. When fighting broke out in Jongale State in December, their homes were destroyed with artillery. Uh, they were being shot at. The hospitals were broken into. People were killed. Uh, buildings were looted schools, shops. The people were forced to flee to safety. They boarded boats and crossed the River Nile to Awario County. Since December, boats have steadily been coming from, from Boer, Duke, and Twitch counties in Jongale State, bringing people, seeking safety from the fighting. We have been able to meet certain needs of the community, but not all. The biggest gap that still lies here is shelter itself. People are still living under the trees. And we have great fear that if the rains return, it will be a catastrophe here. There are people actually stranded on islands in the River Nile. Unfortunately, the government and other organizations did not have a boat in order to access those people. However, Samaritan's Purse actually had a boat, which I know it was the hand of God. For four years it was sitting there, and now it's able to provide emergency assistance for, for tens of thousands of people to help meet a critical need that no one else was able to assist. We found over 15,000 people just living on the islands. Everyone who has tried to return home has been killed. So they're just stuck living on these islands. This morning, we loaded up two boats full of supplies for the people stranded on these islands in the River Nile. We are now giving out sleeping mats Blankets, as it gets very cold at night on the river. Mosquito nets in order to prevent malaria. Sanitary cloth for women that is reusable. They can wash it and reuse it. Buckets to collect water, as well as chlorine for water treatment. Without that assistance, they're living with only the clothes that they had on their backs. They're forced to eat lily pads on the island because there's very little food. Fortunately, we continue to take supplies and at least provide some help for these people. So I hope, as long as I'm here and Samaritan's Purse is working, that we can just provide as much assistance as we can to as many people as possible to help relieve their suffering, uh, both physical and spiritually. And also just share with them the important message that there's a God who loves them and cares about them, that God is there no matter what. We hope to just encourage them during this time, even as they're continuing to suffer. We have seen people who do not have hope, at least beginning to have hope. People who could not smile, at least you can see a smile on the faces of people. And for me, that's what gives me the joy and it gives me the drive every day to do what I do.